Hi everyone, I am architect Vivek Gupta and like the rest of the world, I am sitting at home in this pandemic has spared no one. So strange, a uh, couple of weeks back, the studio was in full swing, the sites were going on, we were looking at finishing at least three or four projects in another 30 to 40 days time and all of that has completely come to a standstill. This pandemic has really spared no one. And look at us, what we are doing, is trying to make a sense of the work, working out of home. Somebody like me who's not used to working on computers. I'm a very print person. I need to look at the drawings on a sheet of paper. I'm trying to recalibrate life uh, with this new way of working by trying to have Zoom meetings with the office team. In fact, the other day we had a client meeting and I must say that um, I was very happy and with the ending of that because we could actually convince the client, he was very excited, in fact, he was more excited than what we were, to be able to decide on things and see the drawings uh, perhaps you also got some vocation because as architects and designers we can at least work from home. He is a real estate guy who actually didn't have much to do at all. So he was excited to look at the design possibilities for his project. And he actually gave us a uh, go ahead uh, for a lot of things. Having said that, we are lucky to be sitting at home but I feel my heart goes out to the construction workers which actually constitute uh, the second largest workforce in this country after farmers <clears throat> and they've had to travel to their villages to their homes in adverse conditions and uh, I do not really foresee a quick resumption of the sites and I feel that uh, this is the time when the governments need to take a call that instead of smart cities, we should make efficient villages which provide for the basic needs of these people who have traveled back. I think this has happened like never before when the entire construction workforce has traveled back to their villages and because of the psyche, the emotional disturbance, the physical uprooting, I'm sure that they are looking at staying back. Most of them are, would be wanting to stay back in the confines of their homes, in the comforts of their home and their people. And this is the time when the government needs to take a call, make some policy decisions to convert these villages into efficient villages by providing them employment in the skill sets that they have within the rural areas or within their villages so that they don't really need to come back. This entire dream of, uh, of city dwelling, of living in cities, I think has come crashing down. They have felt extremely insecure and rightly so because when they live in their own homes, they don't have to pay rents. At least they get food to eat because of whatever little they grow in their own patches of land. The basic vegetables, some, uh, some grains and everything. So I feel as an architect and a designer, it is time for us to start looking at working in that domain. I think going forward post this COVID uh, thing, there are two sectors that if architects and designers start laying emphasis on, I think we will, making, we will be making a, a, a responsible contribution to our profession and to the society at large. And those two sectors are healthcare and villages. What I feel is that what we need to do is through the skill development councils need to establish centers of excellence, centers of industrial training and industrial output where these workers who are proficient in woodwork or stonework or, or some other whatever uh, skill set that they have, they get uh, industrial support, they get factories to work on and we as architects and designers 
uh, support them uh, by by working in uh, those areas. Uh, I guess this is what I am looking forward to as a contribution from our studio and I would really be extremely happy to work with any opportunity that may come across. Otherwise, I am planning to work with like-minded people with the government agencies and reach out to whatever contribution that the studio could make. I'm hoping that the rest of the fraternity will join us and join in this mission that we need to take up post-COVID. Thank you.